Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're all well and you're blessed. Today, I want us to look at how to open a mechanical module application. Downloading it from direct from the Play Store. The Play Store you have in your Android phone. You download it right from there. After you've downloaded it from, from the Play Store, as you can see, from this Play Store you have a variety of uh, a variety of, of, of software of applications from there so you download it from one of them uh, whenever you have your bundles after you have downloaded it it will be directly installed into your phone after it has been installed into your phone then you will open it so from there you can see I have mechanical module diploma 1 and mechanical module diploma 2 I also have for electrical module 1 and all other nodes but today we are interested in a uh, mechanical diploma in mechanical module past paper 3. Now as you can see there we have the notes, past paper videos and all those other options but now I'm interested in past papers. You saw so you click on past papers, so you've clicked on past papers you now check from which year you want from you want to extract your paper past papers to revise. If you don't have the tangible past papers or it happens that your school doesn't have a library so this one is uh, one of the questions on fluid mechanics and thermodynamics as you can see all these these are past papers they were done in march you go through it you will see that it was 20 marks on compressors topic uh, the most topic that is more examinable is uh, on compressors this helps in revision also we have another one uh, another one on on pumps in fluid mechanics section as you can see these past papers will help you to uh, put more energy and emphasis on the topics that are most commonly set by the examiner. So another one is on control system. You can see there control systems. There was uh, questions on block diagrams, uh, canonical feedbacks and block diagrams to write the Laprisse and all those to write all those uh, questions and equations. So and this the, the other one was on electrical part that in system modeling of an electrical equipment. So you see, as you be reading and as you be revising, you know very well that you will put more emphasis on this particular particular part and particular topic. Then the other secret that we use, we, we use these past papers because it helps us to understand more, on, on under, uh, it helps you to study more. Eh? And it will help you to, 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 to know and to capture the topics that are most commonly set. That is how we study here in colleges. Don't uh, you don't just study blindly. You know you don't just get PDFs and notes from online and you begin from learning. So guys, subscribe to this, to this YouTube channel and enjoy more. Hello guys, how are you? Again, like I promised you now, I've linked two two videos to show you how we practically study in in colleges. We take time when we are studying in colleges now. I want to use my WPS Word document so that you can I can show you how we read. You can see I have lots of documents from there. That was the book on thermo engineering. That is thermo dynamics. Now I want to open the book on on on, on uh, the document on diploma in automotive engineering engineering syllabus and regulation. Now the syllabus I have here, as you can see, it is Republic of. You can see the letterhead there, the, the letterhead, we have the government seal. Then we have the Republic of Kenya. It is meant for technical, industrial, vocational and entrepreneurship training. In technical, industrial, vocational and, uh, and, and, uh, and entrepreneurship training. Diploma in automotive engineering, syllabus and regulation. You can see the Kenya Institute of Education there, the appeal box and the, and the document. The syllabus came away from 2008. Now this this particular document or this written document helps us to study. As you can see there from there, I've, uh, I have the thermodynamics. What the examiner requires me to read, to read, to read, to read, to read, to read from 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 the subject point of view. Now, this is what the examiner requires. Now remember in in technical education or industrial technician or in any any form of college education that is examined with neck it is not easy why because you are trained by one different trainer from that who sets your exam 
and like in universities you find that maybe sometimes the ones who are who are taking you through a unit are the same people who will set for an exam for you so uh, in in colleges it's much different whoever sets your exam is different for whoever is training you so if you have a poor teacher who doesn't have a, a background on neck and what is required from neck or doesn't have this template or outline of the course outline and what is required from the subject point of view then you might be surprised especially if you don't know anything to do with past papers you don't know anything to do with the mechanical module that i've shown you in the previous article now if you combine these two if you have past papers you have a you have past papers you have the 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 course outline it is easier for you to to study as you can see there now i was showing you about about um, gas turbines you see these are the gas turbines this is what you are required to to read about gas turbines you're supposed to read about theoretical cycle jaws closed open gas turbine plant diagram ts diagram thermal efficiency derivation of gas turbines basic cycles modification that is what you're supposed to they're giving you sources you should look for textbooks or handbooks so that is the beauty the beauty with reading with the course outline compiled with the past papers now i know in the subject in the point of in gas turbine topic i'm supposed to read there are different things the content is is given to me down there i study with it at the same time i go to the past papers i check on my past papers is past papers what is consistent in past papers what does past paper what does the examiner require from me because from now there i will be able to read and and do more please check more of these videos as you can see the course outline here it gives you a complete uh, a, a recap or a small recap for the three years of learning what is required the units you're supposed to sit on for the three years as you can see these are the units for module one module two and module three and as you go down further uh, this is for automotive engineering there is for electrical every course has its own uh, has its own things so please subscribe